by bringing private sector and academic uh, together, I think what we're essentially doing is marrying academic creativity and rigor with industrial realism and resources to solve a grand challenge in reducing carbon emissions. Partners are most effective when they challenge each other beyond their comfort zone. And it's through this challenge and this debate that both partners or multiple partners, if you will, learn from each other. And I would say that with partners, almost always, at least all the partnerships that I've built and I've seen, we're aligned in our mission and our goals. Where we differ may be the approach of getting there. And so by bringing all these partners around the table, what you're bringing together are different perspectives and different value add, and that's how you can amplify impact and accelerate action. We have partnerships with industrial companies, including oil and gas companies. The oil and gas industry took more than a century to build, and so to not have them at the table and think that we can make substantial impact uh, on reducing carbon emissions would be a mistake. They are at the table. We've done joint projects together. Uh, one of the projects that speaks to uh, the power of collaboration is this Net Zero America project. They have lots of very detailed and granular geographical and geological data because they extract oil. Um, and that data had actually helped us and informed us on how to think about carbon sequestration capacities and capabilities. And in turn, I think our Net Zero America project where we're laying out a roadmap to think about how America can get to net zero greenhouse gas emissions, this is informing them that oil and gas demand is going to decrease and the amount of decrease may vary between 60 and 100 percent across the different scenarios we look at, but there's no question there's going to be a decrease and this may help them in thinking about their future businesses. Thank you.